Hi everyone, welcome to Informatica support videos. I am Ravi Shankar. Today I am going to demonstrate you on a new feature which is introduced in Data Quality Informatica 950 that is called Developer Workflow. Developer Workflow is a graphical representation of set of events, tasks and decisions that define a business process. We use the developer tool to add objects to workflow and to connect the objects with a sequence of flows. Data integration service uses these instructions configured in the workflow to run those objects. A workflow object is an event, task or a gateway. A event starts or ends the workflow. A task is an activity that runs a single unit of workflow in the workflow such as running a mapping sending an email or running a shell command. A task can require a human input too. Now the agenda would be the workflow task creation, associating a mapping or a human task with a workflow, deploying the workflow as in an application and running the workflow task from the command line. Now we'll go and see how the workflow creation take, takes place and deploying it through the uh, developer2 and running from the command line. We have launched a developer2 line phase 0. Now we are going to select file new option for creating workflow. Now we can give a workflow name workflow workflow demo and location I have chosen as exceptions underscore issue. Now I will click finish. So it has created a workflow demo which has a start event and end event. You need to associate a workflow with a gateway or human task or a mapping task. When you choose the mapping task you need to give mapping task name mapping task underscore demo I am going I am giving this name now you need to select a mapping which needs to be associated with the mapping task demo I have chosen the mapping m extract gold customers click finish See, you can see a workflow has start event, end event, exclusive gateway which you can branch out for the decision making, human task which needs a human intervention and mapping task which contains a mapping. In this demo, I am going to further talk on mapping task. So I am deleting exclusive gateway, human task 2. Now you need to join mapping task with the start event and end event. Save the workflow and validate the workflow by choosing the validate option. There was no problems found for this workflow. Now we need to deploy this workflow demo as an application. So I have right click the workflow demo and choosing the option deploy. So while deploying the uh, application, you need to choose the domain name and data integration service name. So the domain is DQ95 and data integration service which is running on the DQ95 is DISP95. So I click next. Now I need to give application name. So I am giving name as video workflow app now click finish it would create an, an application it takes a while for creating that application we will wait for the time yeah now that application has been deployed we need to select run feature to run this and select the workflow demo once it's been deployed this window disappears 
the same can be verified through the admin console and we will take you to that admin console now now we are in administrator tool monitoring tab and we have selected the DAS now we will refresh the DAS yeah it's been refreshed we will see the video workflow app has been deployed and workflow has been successfully completed now I'll show you how to run from the command line also now I'm in command prompt and I've navigated to the server bin the command line syntax would be info cmd bat workflow start workflow minus dn give the domain name minus sn give the uh, DAS name minus un it can be power center administrator any any user and minus pd is the password minus a is the application name application name I have given is video underscore workflow app and minus w is the workflow name now I'll run this now once it's been run it would say that workflow instance has started we'll wait for that Yeah, now you can see the workflow instance has been started. The same can be verified from the administrator tool once again. Yeah, you can confirm the same. The second time when we ran from the command line, the workflow demo has been started, which has a mapping task demo and mapping has MX at Gold Customers has been successfully run through. This demo we have learned how to create a workflow task and deploying it as an application and also running the workflow task from the command line. You can refer to the developer help guide on how to create a human task or addition task and even workflow parameter file creation also. Please provide your valuable feedback on this video to support at videos at informatica.com or you can tweet us at tweeter.info support. Thank you.